I think we're pretty united and we've always been that united because of actors, artists, technicians, you know, uh, kind of being exchanged across industries. And I don't think you or me will remember from when that actually started yeah. to happen. So what's India? India is a land of stories. We have stories from 10,000 years ago that have just been orally told and we still know it. Hi, this is Rana. And that's Hi, this is Surveen and you're watching us on peepingmoon.com. Hello everyone, welcome to peepingmoon.com. I am Rashita Sahani and today joining me for a super interesting chat are Surveen Chavla and Rana Dagupati who are all set to impress us all with Rana Naidu. Hi you guys, how have you been? Very well, ma'am. Very well, thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, firstly, I have to start off by saying I watched the first two episodes. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of mad that they didn't allow us to watch the rest of the episodes because last night when the second episode ended and I didn't know that it's gonna end. I was like, what just happened? I want to watch more now. I want to know what happened. So, you know, very fewer times do we come across shows that leave you so intrigued and so hooked on to your screens that you want to watch more in one go. Feels good to hear. Yeah. Really <laughs> First, yeah. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but uh, I felt that, uh, you know, everyone's saying it's like a family drama. It's a mass entertainer. I do feel it's a mass entertainer. I also feel it's a very unique family drama. I haven't ever witnessed an equation that's, you know, so haywire between <laughs> a father and a son, yeah. uh, between the two of you. We do see some romance and I'm not going to give away too much for the audiences to watch. But when it was offered to you, what was your first reaction that got you like, I want to do this? So I'd... Uh... So actually Karan uh, came up to me with the mm. show and it immediately clicked me that I'd, there's a show like this I've seen and of course I uh, hit the nail on the head because I had had seen the original which yeah. is Ray Donovan. But of course with Karan at the, on, the, on the forefront of it, you know when he's bringing Ray Donovan here, he's going to make, make it rich uh, uh, in... Uh, in the land that he's now bringing that into, which is India, and culturally, and and when you change the whole land of of a particular story, there's a lot around that changes with it. In fact, most of it. So we are not looking at the show as an, an adaptation, but it's pretty much a new show because you, if you, if you, if you, if you go down to comparing the original and this. You'll see a world of difference yeah. because they are different worlds, right? One's based out of the US and one's based in India. Yeah. Uh, culturally, our relationships within our families are pretty different from how they are there, right? And the dysfunctionality is what you could probably see in every family, but the Naidus kind of take it to another, another level. level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the craziness to another level where there's conflict between husband and wife, there's conflict between father son, there's conflict between all the brothers, there's conflict in their outside worlds, in their professions and with the kids, etc, etc. So everything about the show is very, very dysfunctional, I think. And that's the craziness that kind of made me want to be a part of it since I found it exactly what, what you found about it, which was unique. So. Perfect. Rana, what about you? So for me, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was uh, first, I think the first thing was the dysfunctional family that, uh, and the fact that there were so many characters. Now, I'm also I'm a film guy, right? I don't understand. I never done a show before and be, so many powerful characters in it and so crazy, yet part of one family and somewhere everyone's trying to put it together in their own ways, but they're just all wrong sometimes. Uh, that That's what I liked and the fact that it's a little bit of fish out of water where South Indians in Bombay trying to mm. burn over, uh, that's, some, uh, that's a flavor to it which is interesting. It, uh, you've seen father and son films but you've never seen a conflict that's so widely off, right? And it was amazing that I got to work with my uncle in this and we've never done anything together. Uh, and we were pretty sure that if there was anything cliche we didn't want to do and this was so far from cliche that it was... Uh, something that was really exciting for us and yeah and then uh, like Surin said Karan just adds a flavor which is so raw and original uh, which which I just loved and then that's it and and after that I got all of these amazing actors to work with and oh, thank you it was a it ended up Ditto. being a fun show Ditto. 
but uh, you know i must say nana when i uh, saw her in the first episode i was like um she has a lot of layers attached to her character also r- right now <coughs> there's a lot there's a lot of things that she's sort of maybe trying to hide or there's some story that's going on in her own mind i'll find out more when i watch the entire show but how difficult how different or similar is nana to you and how relatable was the character for you so other than the fact that nana is as opinionated opinionated as i am i no you're not going where i think you're no no no, no i just, I just laughed no. that's it <laughs> <laughs> some joke i thought of something Coming from yesterday no no i, I guess oh, i don't okay, know okay okay uh, so apart from nana being as opinionated as i am i think mostly everything that nana does is something that i would disagree with and you'd know what i'm saying mm-hmm. once you go further into the episodes yeah. that follow um which kind of makes it very difficult so we had a joke going on internally about the me having a resting bitch face yeah. and i've kind of you mastered said it. i didn't even say it. <laughs> i i know you yeah i know at some point you would have brought it up might as well i do it you know yeah i like that <laughs> So I kind of mastered the art of the resting bitch face, and these boys were just yeah. kind of, you know, taking off on that <laughs> yesterday all day. Yeah. But there's far more. <laughs> I'm sure. That. But for example, Shruti from De- Decoupled is something yeah. I can very, very easily relate to, yeah. right? Um, her her ideology is something that I relate to. Here, I think to begin with, because you've seen that that much in the first two episodes, so I'm not going to give any yeah. spoilers out. But like it would be difficult for Surveen to be in a relationship like Nana is with Rana. Mm. I would not approve of it in the first place. So to begin with that and then later you'll know what I'm yeah. saying when you watch further. So yeah, it is difficult. Um um I feel alongside the complexities of the mm. storms that are kind of going on around in the entire family, one between the other, one with the other in a, in every dynamic you'll see that the, yeah. the complexities and the layers. I feel like there's also a quest as far as Nana is concerned uh because of her yes. her her past a quest to f- find happiness mm. which is a very 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 like very underlying layer of who Nana is so apart from what you see superficially that is going on between relationships with her kids with her husband I think that for me was was the most difficult and i also have to uh, credit paula malcolmson who's in the original actually played abby she's she was fantastic in doing so and i think not to kind of ape what she's done but i was very very inspired to kind of hit that right note i hope i've done i've been able to mm. do that but yeah you try your best Oh, we are hoping to see more of you in it. Yeah. But uh, Rana, talking about your relation that you share with uh, Venkatesh sir in the show, uh, you know, uh, we are Indians, and a part of very big part of our culture is uh, respecting our parents, calling them Papa or whatever. And you are call you are going out there and calling him by his name. But I have to credit you and the entire team, the directors here, that not even for a bit did I feel. uncomfortable watching or hearing yeah. that or uh, neither did i feel ki how can he do that because i know you come from a baggage from the past that we are you know yet to explore more in the upcoming season uh, episodes but how did you manage that right equation that you want to show what's in your heart but not making it so disrespectful that the audience is sort of get uncomfortable seeing it how did you manage to do that so one is uh... I think first the choice of it, right? First, you make a decision to make your to be part of a show like this, and uh, you decide to go one up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and see, like it's ultimately those characters are so crazy. It, uh, it like uh, and Karan's detailed the hell out of this world so much that we were already part by the time we got on sets in some ways. But there's also obviously in real life there's extreme love. uh which in some underlying way you will also see because they're all oddly trying to put it together in some ways and uh, uh i i won't tell you who's trying to do what because i i'd want you to see that but it's how you're trying but it goes wrong because of the nature that you've already 
your nature that that it already is right so to me it was i couldn't have asked for any other better thing that i could do with venki than this one uh, being our first and uh, it was it is it's it was fun because it's also hindi i don't understand so much it was easier to yeah. say gali's through things at him if it was telugu maybe it would have been a little bit shaky <laughs> i'm sure but uh, you know talking about the shift that indian cinema is currently seeing firstly so glad this entire debate of south versus hindi we have left it in the past in the 2022 year but uh, now right now i see that it's a pleasant thing to see actors from everywhere coming in and making something making either a south indian show or a hindi show or whatever they are making but uh, as someone who has worked in the web space as well how do you see the pan india effect that's that it has like for example netflix going to so many countries people from every industry coming in and working together how do you feel about that so i think to begin with in the uh, from the time that indian cinema actually began we've had this exchange of uh, every kind of talent mm. inter industry exchange i mean if were we were to call them separate industries yeah. they're separate regional cinema but for a very very long time we've been treated <coughs> as separate industries which in their own way they they are but i think we're pretty united and we've always been that united because of actors artists technicians you know uh, kind of being exchanged across industries and i don't think you or me will remember from when that actually started yeah. to happen today the talk about it is more because there are far many more platforms to have conversations and make conversations about these which is also good in a way there are there are platforms where me as an actor belonging to where coming from where working where is able to have that dialogue yeah. with you right and and that's the dialogue that we can have for for every person who's working here but apart from that the world in general is kind of getting closer there was a time when when um lands got closer yeah. because that's how transport happened communication became closer with the 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 invent of um Phone. phones and mobile phones and emailing and now video calling and we don't know where we're headed we're getting into an ai world yeah. so i think everybody everything is kind of coming closer and coming together and we have the likes of Rajamouli sir who Rana's had the honor of working with working with and will continue to do so um i mean he's taken us to a global yeah. platform today so i mean it's a great great time um and it's for it's there out there for the world to see and out there for us to talk about so i think it's the greatest time and we're only heading into better times where we all kind of come uh together and be united as one <coughs> which is indian cinema i'm sure and i'm actually looking forward to a day when we when i have to stop asking this question all together absolutely but absolutely. yeah maybe in a few years we are heading there but uh, rana of course talking about you you have worked in the south indian industry in the hindi film industry as well uh we uh last year we were being told that you know uh, south indian films are only going to make india proud and that is what is actually happening of course rrr is a pan india film but the roots of it is from of course uh, rajamouli sir is an incredible filmmaker uh how do you feel about it you know the indian cinema being represented from the roots of where you started off from well it's always amazing because that's where we, uh, india was always known by hindi cinema and it's just amazing that all the other industries are getting their due yeah. it's uh, it's been a while because they've been building stuff that's pretty phenomenal and uh, i'm just hoping in the next few years there'll be more and more industries that come and shine to light uh, there's so many more languages in india so many more cultures uh, see in the beginning there were many more industries when india began yeah. and uh, today they're much less than what they were so i'm hoping that kind of glory comes back now with global scale of where we've reached so yeah i'm just uh, you'll have we'll be continue i mean so what's india india is a land of stories we have stories from 10000 years ago that have just been orally told and we still know it right and i think 
art, cinema, film uh, shows, whatever medium that is, right, will we'll always continue to thrive and make greater stuff. I'm sure about that. But thank you so much for this beautiful conversation. I am personally looking forward to thank watching you. all the episodes and maybe more seasons to come of Rana and I do. But thank you for joining thank you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Most welcome. Thank you.